Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most unique and biologically diverse ecosystems. The reef is resilient, which means it has a natural ability to recover from environmental impacts, but it is increasingly under pressure. Climate change, coastal development, land-based runoff from agriculture, overfishing and illegal fishing, and marine debris are affecting the reef. Today we're focusing on climate change. So what is climate change? Climate change is the long-term significant change in global weather patterns, including air and sea temperatures, humidity, wind, storms and rainfall. Over the coming decades, climate change may have critical effects on the reef. Increased concentrations of greenhouse gases, particularly carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, result in more heat being trapped, increasing the Earth's temperature. This can increase the frequency of severe weather events, like flooding and cyclones, which often cause severe and widespread damage to coral reefs. Increasing absorption of atmospheric carbon dioxide by oceans also results in ocean acidification, which is a gradual reduction in the pH of seawater. Even a relatively small increase in ocean acidity decreases the capacity of marine animals to build calcium carbonate skeletons and shells. Rising sea surface temperatures put corals under thermal stress, causing them to expel the tiny algae that live within their tissues. It's this algae that gives corals their colour and most of their food and energy. This results in coral bleaching. Rising sea levels will be significant because much of the Great Barrier Reef coastline is low-lying. Small changes in sea levels will mean land inundation, which will cause significant changes in tidal habitats, such as mangroves and salt water entering into freshwater habitats. So climate change is the greatest threat to the Great Barrier Reef in the long term for one specific reason and that's that it actually threatens the foundations of the Great Barrier Reef which are the coral systems that actually form this amazing three-dimensional structure that the actual creatures that we see on the Great Barrier Reef use as their home. The reason why that's a threat by climate change is because corals rely upon a relationship with little algae that sit inside of their tissues. They, they photosynthesize just like plants do and produce lots of extra energy and the corals use that for their food and they use it to build their calcium carbonate structure. It also causes a process called ocean acidification. The, the chemistry of the ocean is being changed as carbon dioxide is dissolved into the water. And that actually has a threatening process to the foundations and to many other creatures. Anything that uses um, calcium carbonate to build their skeletons, ocean acidification process can mean they're not able to produce the, the things that they depend upon to, to live. Very much at Hermit Park teaching students the, the effect that they can have around climate change. So everything from turning air conditioners off to having lights turned off um, and really reducing their footprint on the planet. We've got uh, laminated uh, posters around the classrooms telling us to uh, switch lights off before the lessons end. You can help protect the Great Barrier Reef from climate change. Reduce your climate footprint by being more energy efficient and reducing your energy consumption. Turn off lights, air conditioners and power points when you aren't using them. Use renewable energy sources like solar power. Walk or ride your bike, carpool or use public transport. Plant native trees to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Share your knowledge by raising awareness of climate change and its impact on the reef. Encourage your family, friends and community to take ownership of the reef, motivating them to take action to protect it. For more tips on protecting the reef from climate change, visit www.gbrmpa.gov.au.